All right, now we're here at the YouTube channel of Jan van Vaken in Belgium, and we're at the uh, Athena Blues Festival near Valenciennes in France, where uh, uh, myself and my group, we played here, and the group is called Philby's Freedom. And um, all right, so Phil B, that's myself, starting very... Uh, <laughs> to, to, to present myself, I'm the singer of the band, also the songwriter, uh, and further in the band, there's two guitar players. One is called John F. Clava, and the other one is called uh, Berlon Roers. They're both uh, solo guitarists. Then we have on keyboards, we have uh, Pascal Lanslots. Uh, on drums, we have Ari Vahar. And on bass, we have Carlo from Belgium. You will notice all these names are more or less Dutch, and uh, that's not so uh, complicated because we are a Dutch band. All right, so uh, we were here, played at the Athena Blues Festival, and it's a really great, great, great festival. And Jan Vervaker was so kind to ask me to present our band. All right? Second question. So, explain your band name. Ah, Phil Beats Freedom, meaning, you know, I've been around for a couple of years, uh, as you can tell by my uh, blonde hair. Uh, that, uh, you know, <laughs> I played for about, uh, I don't know, I don't even want to say how many decades I've been on scenes. And I've been on tour, so. But in the end, a couple of years ago, three, three, four years ago, I, I thought, you know, there's only one way to make music. Uh, you get at my, uh, my age and my stage, it's to play whatever you feel like and to write songs in any way that you feel like. And the, the basis is blues, of course. But uh, you know, uh, I've been listening uh, to Little Feet. I've been listening to. Jimi Hendrix, of course, I listened to Steely Dan, so many influences have come around and, and, and are also recognizable in our, in our songs. So freedom means we play whatever we feel like and whatever makes us feel free and play music, all right? So the third question is, uh, my oh Jesus Christ, what a, what a question. My three favorite albums, oh Lord Jesus Almighty. Um, I would say number one, uh, Electric Ladyland, Jimi Hendrix. All right. In fact, Jimi Hendrix is my favorite artist of all time. There is no one like him. There is no one like him in the 60s, you know, playing the guitar like he did. But that's not the, really the, the, the way that I learned to. Uh, to like Jimmy, I mean, Jimmy was such a soulful guy, and his singing was soulful, his his uh, composing was soulful, his producing of the song was out of this world. And uh, I remember I first heard Jimi Hendrix when I was 11 years old, and I was completely blown away at that time, and I still am now. I, in fact, on the way here, we had three hour drive, uh, we played Jimi Hendrix, so uh, I mean, I still listen to him Probably on not on a daily basis, but many many times still. My second album would be "Feet Don't Fail Me Now" by Little Feet. Uh, Lowell George is one of my all-time great favorite artists, and uh, th that is probably the, the album I like most. Uh, the third album would be a difficult one. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big blues lover, so I could name like Freddie King, I could name like B.B. King, I could name whatever. But a big influence now in the last year has been Steely Dan. So one of the Steely Dan albums would probably be my, my third one and maybe, I don't know, Countdown to Ecstasy or Katie Light or, you know, so in that order. But that's today, maybe tomorrow. The third one or the second one will be another one. All right, okay. Um, message for Belgium. Well, you might not know, but I'm half Belgium. My mother was from Mons, and uh, I speak a little French of, uh, because of that. And the message to Belgium is, well, mensen, vous ne savez pas waarom jullie divided zijn, dus unite, be happy, and let music rule and let love rule. I mean, we're all of the human race and I don't really care if you're Chinese or yellow or Indian or black or white. I don't even care about that. Just love each other, love your neighbor and uh, 
be happy. All right. That was it, Phil B for Jan van Wagen's YouTube channel. All right, peace.